Yo, it's your boy Zach, T930. We're going to start some weekly updates to keep you in the loop. Check out the first one. Um, Greg Villadu, and I am kind of like the lead mentor on the team. So this year is the 15th season of FRC 930. Um, we started back in 2002 as the McGuanago Masters of Machinery. Then around 2008, we uh, rebranded a little bit and became the McGuanago Bears. Um, and now we are a much different team, um, but it's been real fun, uh, 15th season. So we're hoping we uh, can live up to some of the earlier successes we had early in our career. My name is Brian Charles. I am one of the programming mentors on the team. So uh, one of the challenges that is partially a carryover from last year and is kind of a good challenge to have um, is the number of students that we have coming onto the team. Uh, so for the middle school, they're really stepping up their project lead the way their STEM class is, which is making a lot more students interested and we're having larger numbers of freshmen that we than we've seen in the past. Um, I really like having a larger team. Uh, it definitely, it spreads, uh, I mean the goal of FIRST is to give students more opportunities to pursue or to at least investigate STEM careers. So for example this, team, this year's team is one of the largest we've had at 32 students and it seems like that trend is going to be increasing upwards. We're going to have more and more freshmen that are enjoying their time in the STEM classes at the middle school and coming up into um, to continue on in the robotics program. And so the more students on the team the better, that means the more opportunities that are being um, shared. Um, it's definitely a challenge, but I would like to see the team keep growing. Um, I think, I mean, I could easily see the team in a couple of years being up to 60 with how much growth we've had in the last two. So one of the challenges that comes with that is finding a way to get all of those kids that are interested an opportunity to be involved in the program and, and take something away from it. Um, so finding everything, finding something for everyone to do is going to be uh, really important to keeping everyone busy because no one likes to sit around all day for so many meetings. So some of the things that we've done to try and help with that is uh, restructure our team a little bit, um, making it so that there's more of a flat hierarchy, more opportunities for students to obtain leadership roles and kind of lead their own smaller groups to get more students involved. My name is Cassidy Tiemann and I am the electrical sub-lead for uh, Special Function 1. Uh, so the game is called Stronghold. Um, the point of the game is you've got like 10 defenses in the center of the field. This is like a drawbridge that a team would have to pull down and travel through. Um, a moat, which is a couple of uh, strips of metal that a team would have to go over. And basically we have to take down our opponent's towers using boulders. Teams can climb on tower rungs in order to capture the tower. And you get lots of points the crowd cheers. My name is Ryan Kramer. I am a current programming mentor for Team 930, and I have no previous experience as a first mentor. This is the first team I have been mentoring, but I'm very excited to start mentoring this team, and I look forward to seeing what they are capable of doing. Well, in the first week of the season, Team 930 has so far started their prototyping procedure, has went through various different strategizing procedures to determine what sort of aspect they want the robot to take on, how they want to conquer the game, look at different rules and so on. And with more prototyping this week, make rough designs, basic ideas, and just get a start on what they want the rest of their season to look like. We're not designing anything right now. We're um, actually kind of doing some math and we're working out, figuring out if we were pushed up against the tower, what sort of angle we would have to shoot at to be able to get into the goal. Because it wouldn't be the same height from that angle. So we're kind of figure out like how wide of a actual target we're gonna have. And Nick is doing very complicated math that no one understands.
Yeah, but that only works if you're looking at it, say, from, or from a horizontal. Yeah. Test two. Three. Four. 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 Uh, Ryan! Oh, no! Oh, no! Ryan! We were just talking about how it's 35 bucks. Duct tape it! Duct tape it! Duct tape it! Duct tape it. Just, we looked at the year in 2010, there was a, a similar game where like people needed to use like, a design, so it was just like, I'm not sure what the game was, but they, like, they played something up high. Uh, the teams used a similar design, and we, we liked this one because, well this bar is in the way right now, we can cut this short later. Basically you can get flushed with the robot, and then, so it like, folds in nice, we can get, get under the low bar. And if we want to get high, we just go like this. What? Except with the motor and not with my arm. I got battery. Hey, heavy. I'm out. This is work. Dedication. Um, so, I'm Ryan Severson. Um, I'm a mechanical lead um, on Team 930. My specific sub-team has been tasked with um, designing a shooter that, that fits under the low bar, which is specifically difficult because the, shooter, the ball is rather large this year. Um, so far, with our prototype, we've been very accurate. mechanism so that we'd use rope um, to pull ourselves up after like with a hook that would pull us up farther and shorten the rope. We'll use something like this to, this is the hook on the end of the rope and to get the hook up on the, on the bar we'll use something like this that can extend upwards. Yeah I think um, well definitely right now overcoming challenges is working together to not get too focused in our own prototypes and to work together to combine our prototypes in order to get like one functioning robot, not a bunch of little parts that work on their own. Well, overall, based off of Team 930's current progress, I think that they will perform very well during this competition season. I think we're on the right track and doing better, for sure. And that we're hitting the ground running. Everyone seems very enthusiastic about what they are doing and even outside of the team meetings, outside when they're at home, they're still thinking about the robot design. They're still thinking of different strategies they can approach. And I think that's very powerful in that we will be able to work fast. We'll be able to get many things designed, many different ideas thought about. And I think this will allow the robot to better take on a pers personal aspect that the students of Team 930 really wanted it to look like, how they wanted it to operate. And I think that will make it much more of a personal connection for each of the individual students. And overall, it'll make them perform better in competition because they'll know exactly what they can do, they'll know exactly what they cannot do, and they know exactly how to look at the game and approach every single competition match. Yeah, I think this year's gonna be really good. Everyone's really excited about the game just because it has a lot going on and there's tons of different things to focus on. So everyone will have something to do and it'll be a really fun year. Hey, good to you then. That concludes it for this week. If you want to see more of the team progress, subscribe to us on YouTube. Later, nerds. Hey you, if you haven't seen our video where we used humans instead of robots to work on some strategies, click the card annotation in the upper right hand part of your screen. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, as well as follow us on our other social media platforms such as Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.